you're in the stampede. West Virginia Metro News only show dedicated exclusively to the thundering herd. Here's your host, Dave Wilson. We are back. At, okay, so we took a little summer vacation, if you will. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere yet. I'm actually going on vacation next week. But um, took a few weeks off through the middle of the summer. Relaxed, and now we're all geared up and ready to go again because preseason football camp has arrived. Thundering Herd opening camp this week. We were in Huntington at Jones C. Edwards Stadium taking in the first couple of days of practice and a calm, confident bunch. Uh, it might be a good way to characterize the Thundering Herd entering this 2012 season. Coming off a 7-6 and six year, a bowl win in the Beef O'Brady's uh, St. Petersburg Bowl down in St. Petersburg, Florida last year. So the expectations are higher. The bar has been raised. And the Thundering Herd looking for big things and possibly uh, competing for a Conference USA title here in 2012. One of the big additions uh, to this Thundering Herd team in 2012 came in January with the transfers of safeties Dominic Legrand and Okchukwu Okoroa from Boston College. We got our first look at... Those two at safety this week. Of course, it's in shorts and jerseys, but the two certainly look the part. They were impressive. But as uh, Okchukwu Okoroa says, uh, they were actually impressed with the athleticism with the Thundering Herd already and the athletes they're now playing with versus the athletes they were playing with at Boston College. I was amazed. You know, when, uh, when Coach Doc recruited us, they, he told us, like, straight up, he told us that, you know, he's going to surround us with great competition, great guys, mm-hmm. you know, guys, <clears throat> guys that, that, that are athletic. Just, he never lied about that. He didn't lie about any of that. Kind came here. It's a lot of athletes on this team. You know, more athletes here than, than I was around at Boston College, you know. And, uh, it was just, it was like like the, the the receivers, the speed here is like they, they got more speed here, you know. And it's just guys wanting wanting to work, you know. Ad Ad's a great player. He's gonna be a great player in the league one day. Yeah, <clears> yeah. Guys, but man. and everybody and everybody, it's just it's, it's like uh, it's a lot of speed. Mm-hmm. So you gotta like and and come in here playing up to their speed. You know, mm-hmm. you gotta play up the you gotta play your speed. That was one of our uh, big three things to focus on: is play the speed, play your speed, and like. You no, know, you see it in practice. Everybody just running to the ball, mm-hmm. and like it's, you know, it was, it was not. A, it was it was actually an upgrade here. Like mm-hmm. you know, with the with the athletes here, you just got to put it all together, and that's what camp is for. I mean, I guess it could be surprising, but I wasn't surprised at all. Mm-hmm. You know, Coach Doc told me it was going to be like that, so mm-hmm. came in. I, that's what I expected, and that, that was exactly what it was here. Just a lot of great athletes, and you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, how how things you know turn up after the first scrimmage and keep going from there. Now, I, I, I like that. That's another thing uh, coming here. Like the ACC was kind of like a balance, balance attack. But here they throw the ball a lot, and it's like, mm-hmm. and, that, and that's what we want. That's what me and Dom always talk about, man. They're gonna throw the ball about 50 times. They're gonna end up in our hands a few of them. Mm-hmm. So you know, and uh, we just gotta be there to make the play. Actually, I would say living off campus, living off campus. Uh, that's that was the biggest thing. Now, uh, football wise, everything. It's just football is football wherever you go. You know, the guys here made it easy to play. But living off campus, that's the, I think, because uh, at Boston College, you have to stay. You can only live off campus as a fifth-year senior. Really? Yeah. So uh, all my four years there, we was on campus. That's Okchukwu Okoroa, one of the newest members of the Thundering Herd, making his debut at practice this season. But did you catch what he said? Did you catch what he said about the athletes that Doc Holliday and his staff, you know, Jawan Sider, Bill Legg, Chris Ripon, uh, those guys have brought in? He said it's an upgrade in athletes. Uh, from where he was at Boston College and in the ACC. Now, that might not be that much of a surprise that it's an upgrade from Boston College, but considering that they competed in the SEC or the ACC, excuse me, and Okchukwu Okoroa and Dominique Legrand were recruited to play in the ACC, you know, certainly a step up from Conference USA. Uh, gives you an idea of some of the players that have been brought in, some of the talent that Doc Holliday has been able to bring to campus. Of course. Uh, the big O, O is what they're calling him because nobody can really say Okchukwu Okoroa's name. Uh, he, along with Dominique Grand, adding some depth to that Thundering Herd defense. And Coach Ripon, uh, Coach Chris Ripon, the defensive coordinator, likes what he's seeing so far. It's exciting to see the fruition of two years recruiting coming into play. Uh, the ability of kids to understand the package that you're in, uh, where you can shuffle them in, or in and out a little bit and... and uh, be more multiple because of the personnel than having to do it with the package. And I think we, we felt in the last two years that 
that was it. We were a uh, very, very personnel-driven substitute. You know, we're switching in a, a defensive end. We're switching in a defensive end and a linebacker, and then the secondary and a nickel and all where now we've gotten some personnel to a point where we can do that all those schemes within one or two groupings which is nice one you know the playing experience and all that kind of stuff uh, but more importantly it just gives you a little bit more time before you throw the, the two three young four young guys that haven't had experience playing uh into the mix right away you know that you, you're not depending on them uh to play every snap these guys give us a chance to, uh, to to break them in, you know, the DJ Hunters and the Derek Mitchells and the Zach Dunstan, uh, you know, Vashawn Samuels are all excellent players, all completely inexperienced. And now you have two kids from that, that have played major college football coming in, and it gives you some time. That's uh, defense coordinator Chris Rippon talking about the additions of Dominique Legrand and Okchuku Okoroa as well as the athletes he has on defense to work with this year. Not just those two uh, at safety, but you also move Devin Arrington, the lone senior in the starting defensive lineup, back to linebacker. Uh, you bring in A.J. Leggett, the highly touted cornerback from Miami, Florida, who, uh, who made an impression early on in practice with an interception pass breakup on the first day. You bring those guys in, the defense is much more athletic, much faster, and should be able to defend the Houstons and the Tulsas of the world much better than they did last season when the Thundering Herd had much, uh, much, much more trouble defending Houston's speed and defending Tulsa's speed in those blowout losses to those two Conference USA rivals. Well, we heard from Chris Rippon and Okchuku Okorora, Okoroa this week. It's going to be a long season with his name. We will have more from Thundering Herd Camp as the season rolls on because... We are down inside, what, uh, close to 20 days now to kick off in the Friends of Cold Bowl at Mountaineer Field. So plenty more from camp coming up. We will have it each week for you here on the Stampede. Get the latest on Marshall News at the website. Go to WVMetroNews.com and follow me all the time on Twitter, WVMetro underscore D. Wilson. For Tyler Mertens, I'm Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.